And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Chief Ludes, making what I would consider a rather pointless video. But can I make a point in pointlessness? That's a topic for another video. Look, 2K dropped a hint. I'm going to say hint or a tease because they really didn't do a whole lot of anything. They basically just did that thing where they'll post like one tiny uh, blurb or word and let the community while out for a little bit. So we'll get to that in a second. We also got a Dark Matter Malik Seeley today. You know, if you're interested, he's essentially Kawhi Leonard, which is really cool. Um, I will say that Triple Threat Online is going to be an absolute hellscape this evening. So if you would like pain or you're a masochist or a little pain piggy, then maybe tonight's the night for you. You can go play Triple Threat Online, uh, get matched up with Sweat Lord after Sweat Lord after Sweat Lord, or, uh, you know, any other variety of things, realistically. I would recommend probably doing the offline stuff right now, but, uh, you know, it, it just kind of depends how you feel, really. I don't know. Malik Seeley is fire. Obviously, he's going to be heat, so it's like, I could sit here and tell you how unworth it is all day long, but at the end of the day, like, this is probably one of the best reward cards that we've received. See? Put a positive spin on things. I can be positive sometimes, too, occasionally. You know, it is what it is. See, you may notice a bit of a cut there. And the reason there's a bit of a cut there is because Katana will not shut the fuck up. All right. It is close to what I call kitten pate time at my household, which is a divisive time in the household uh, because my cat becomes unmanageable at that point. So, you know, shout out to Katana for just jumping up here and screaming at me right in my face about this far away while I'm trying to record a video, which will get me paid to buy you pate. Learn reasoning and logic, cat. Anyhow, we also got a new holo challenge if you collect holo cards. Cool. I think I have a pretty good holo team, and I still have done not one of these. <laughs> so I don't know if it's my lack uh, of will to just play this game in general that keeps me from doing this, or the fact that I just don't care about tokens. I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, if you have a robust holo collection, cool. Go ahead and do that. You get 75 tokens. That's tight. If not, uh, be like your boy Cheap Blues and just skip them completely. Now let's talk about what sent the My Team community into a bit of a frenzy here. One word, two or three syllables, I don't know. I wasn't very good in English class. Uh, my grammar is not great, obviously. So I know you may think of me as a scholarly person, but that is not the case, especially in regards to English class. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I was going to sing it, but I don't feel like doing it. Invincible. Wait, is that even a song? I just make that up. Bars. Invincible Joel Embiid coming out. I'm not sure. So here's the thing. Hey, there's two. Well, there's two things, really. We don't know if this is even coming out tomorrow or we're just getting the news. If they're teasing the tease for tomorrow, they are one to do that. So we don't really know if that's the case or not. Two, uh, everyone seems to think Spotlight Sims, but there's been no indication that uh, that's what's happening, uh, being solely that we have seen absolutely nothing in relation to Spotlight Sims uh, this year, period. Uh, the reason I say that is because we haven't. Yeah. Invincible Terrence Man would love them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not expect that. Okay. They got me. They got me on that one. Shout out to you, dude, who I didn't read your Twitter handle. I'm sorry. Um, look, are there going to be Spotlight Sims? I would hope so. Is Spotlight Sims, are Spotlight Sims going to drop tomorrow? 50-50. I honestly don't know. Like, I could easily see them tomorrow you know nothing gets loaded on the database everyone starts like fiendishly like scratching themselves and sweating profusely and then we just get like a dev vlog or something like i could easily see that as well so let's not work ourselves up too much i mean yes Embiid is going to be good um i believe they've already put him on the database so we kind of know what's up i mean there's not much you can really do for invincible cards at this point you know as far as upgrades and 2k really hasn't updated any of the players once they're announced you know like what we see on day one is what we're gonna get right so Embiid is Embiid you know he's gonna set some of the most effective screens in all of my team and I mean if he can even dribble just a little bit yeah obviously he's gonna be top tier but he is a free reward card but so was Taco last year but Taco was not a free reward card you had to sell your soul for that card so that's a little bit different so yeah, you really had to give up at least part of your humanity to get that card and at least some of your soul, for sure. Partial, like 10%, I, I would say. But like, look, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, right? Because we haven't seen anything like this this entire year. Pretty much all we've seen is like 
random spotlight challenges, um, whatever the all-star thing was, that Evo challenge that was heinous, and you can't tell me otherwise. People tried to hype it at the time. I said, no, no, you cannot hype this. This is terrible, right? And I stand firm on that, and I feel like I'm on the right side of history. I feel like we can all look back at the all-star thing that they tried to do with the Evos and say that that was horrible, right? Horrible, horrible, horrible. I feel like we can all agree. We can come as one, and we can agree that that was a terrible idea and a terrible event, okay? My voice just cracked. I'm really passionate about my hatred for the all-star spotlights or whatever they called them. Um, Also, I see a little... I just wanted to point this out real quick. Um, I see uh, a trending topic that says one-third of Americans making 250K live paycheck to paycheck. And uh, as someone who is hella poor, how? How? Please, how? I would love to know. I'm not going to read the article because it's from Bloomberg and I do not trust it. But I would like to know how that's possible. (laughs) as someone who makes uh significantly less than that (laughs) i just i don't understand it anyways looking at last year we didn't get a spotlight sim around june 1st but we did get one on may 19th right and this was the bill russell one i never ended up getting bill russell and i forgot which challenge really halted me um I want to say it was something involving either Dame or James Worthy. I'm pretty sure the Jimmy Butler ones I was able to do just fine, but the James Worthy and Damian Lillard ones were absolutely terrible. And now 2KDB has these annoying uh, video ads that I just despise with a burning passion. I should get an ad blocker, but you know what? I support the website. That's fine. Um, No biggie. (laughs) Look, these are not, these were not great, right? There were some good cards and I would expect it to be very similar to this meaning we're going to see the quote-unquote challenger cards now as far as what cards we could see during that i would expect people who didn't win an nba title or people who didn't win an nba title at a certain time right that would be my assumption looking back on these cards i mean did any of us really use any of these guys i mean manu people used manu for sure i remember a lot of people using manu actually um at least for like a small period of time um nobody used marbury odin jamal crawford some people used eddie johnson was okay um bill Ambeer, dude sick uh this was not the jermaine o'neal that we got this year uh i used michael cooper but that was because i like michael cooper I had nothing to do with him i remember people using tyree Evans for sure nobody used carl malone steven jackson um i used bam for my all heat team stiff hagan was out here he wasn't close to as dominant as he was this year some people use Dave Cowens. Um, Glenn Robinson had some love, but that was just from early game stuff. And Jimmy, James Worthy, and Dame. Nobody used Dame, but Jimmy and James Worthy, definitely. Okay, you could stop running Boost Mobile ads like at any point, realistically. <laughs> that would be super cool, dude. Uh, Bill Russell was good, though. I mean, obviously, Bill Russell was sick. He had Ray Allen based on very quick, which was ridiculous, right? He had quick dribble style. His dribble moves weren't great, but this card was insane. And, I mean... The thing is, I would fully expect them to go more this route than what we saw with the Gauntlet Spike the Spotlight Sims later. Um, and when I say that, I just mean the reward cards and how usable they are. There's going to be probably five out of like 25 or 30 that are going to be somewhat competent, like we saw before with like Steven Jackson, Tyreek. Um, I would say Manu was there too. Yeah, obviously Manu was probably the best. Calvert Chaney was actually not half bad. And then like Cowens, I guess, right? They're going to have a few that are going to be, you know, relatively good. Some no money spent squads are going to use it. And the rest of them are just going to be throwaway cards. That's what we can expect for sure. Now, they're all going to form into the mural. Obviously, you're going to have to do that. And I mean, that's if they're spotlight sims. They could realistically be anything. Honestly, they could. Like, there's no way to really say one way or the other. Like, yes, these are going to be perfect. These are going to be great. Like Malik Seeley, who we got today realistically is probably going to be better than any of the cards that we receive in whatever this offline grind is dead serious also he went to st john's hell yeah dude sick love st john's right ray allen i'm very quick with 73 upper same as like glenn rice like this card is stupid this card is maxed out to the gills and i guarantee this card is better than any of the cards that are in the whatever grind leads to uh mb period um, if you think I'm incorrect about that, we can reconvene when these drop. We can have this discussion again when these drop, because I guarantee Malik Steely is better than any of those cards. Maybe besides Embiid. Embiid's probably going to be pretty good, but I would say Malik Steely is better than a vast majority of them. Um, 
Wait, did they even... Have they not dropped Embiid yet? Is that accurate? Have they not dropped him? Interesting. I thought he was already here. I thought we had Invincible Embiid, but we don't. So do we, do we not have Embiid on the database yet? Interesting. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what's going on with Embiid. I just figured he was there at the beginning of Season 7, but he wasn't. So that's shocking, to say the least. By the way, in addition to that, we're going to be getting some, uh, hopefully, some new Evo updates. I really like this idea that they put forth uh, last week, so I'm really hoping to see that again. But, you know, it remains to be seen if that's going to be the case. They really just made me skip an ad to get to another ad. I love this. I'm having more fun talking about these ads and this ad situation. Look, I like 2KDB a lot. I think it's a wonderful website. You guys are putting me through a lot of ads, though. And I should have an ad blocker, but I do want to support as a small time creator. I know how pivotal that three cents of ad revenue is, okay? <laughs> so I'm not going to use an ad blocker, but just know that these Hertz rent a car ads are really testing my patience, okay? So I'm really hoping to see this. Um, but I don't know. And I mean, as far as like what cards we could see have these updates we can go back a few seasons and take a look i mean i would expect rando guys like probably uh, ob toppin seems like a guy who would get an update for no reason i would expect that that actually makes a lot of sense um let's see who else who else could get an update we could see some of these limited edition guys get one like maybe lonzo gets one lonzo actually would make a lot of sense um he does sell packs, though, so Grant Hill and Carl Anthony Towns have been saying for a while I think are going to get them, and then Monte Ellis is one of the other ones. Be sick if they gave one to, like, Quavo or Ronnie. Make Ronnie, like, a dark matter. That would be so tight. Obviously, Greg Ostertag, too. And Billy Cunningham is another guy that just makes a lot of sense for some reason. So, now look, like I said, we're not going to be getting gauntlet spotlight sim cards, right? They will drop this, but it's not going to be tomorrow. Like, they will. They'll drop something like this, but it's not going to be tomorrow. And pretty much, I hope it's more akin to this based solely on the fact that all of these cards were good and usable. Um, for the exception of maybe Joe Ingles, who I don't think anybody ever ran, and maybe like Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton was good for block challenges, though. He had his uses. I would say Joe Ingles and Alan Houston were probably the two... Yeah, they're probably the only two worthless ones. Like, even Jason Kidd had merit to a certain extent. So, you know, if it's closer to this, that'd be great, but I think it's going to be closer to the all the triple threat spotlight sims. That's just my theory on it. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes, and I will see you guys tomorrow whenever we get whatever news that we get.